What's up, you guys? Nina woke me up at the crack of dawn, like four hours before I wanted to wake up. Do you have a cat? Oh, I love her. She's so cuddly. But, like, at 6 a.m., oh, man, it's too much. But anyways, let's do an oracle message because that's what we're going to do. And Sisters of the Highest White Light, what is the message? Hello. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, we've got balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Prosperity. Ooh. A gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. Say, money flows to me like water. I am everything I need, so everything I want flows to me freely. What else? Spirit answers to the highest white light. Oh my gosh. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Ooh, I love that. Mm, freedom. Live wild and free. Choose your freedom. Claim your independence. That's what we're here for. To have a human experience. Freedom. I s wh how? What? Somebody is free! <laughs> Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. What are you going to do today to create your own happiness? What are you gonna do to enhance your life today? Let's pick some, let's pull some cards. God, I hope these cards are good. <laughs> let's say a prayer really quick. God, please make these cards be good. Thank you, ancestors of the highest white light. Let's have a nice message. What do we got going on here? Cause I look, I have rainbows all over my, my ceiling, I'm so happy. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom. And if you guys, if you're new to this channel, my name is Mary. Hi! I'm a, a psychic, a medium, an oracle, I'm Claire Audient. I'm a lot of other weird things. And, um, yeah, we pull cards and sometimes we learn things together. Welcome! Hello! <laughs> What's the message? Okay, we've got the star card. Ooh, baby, shine! Shine your light bright! Be free to shine. You are free to shine. Mm-hmm. No, oh, I feel like somebody's been feeling a little emotionally drained lately. It's things are gonna start looking up. Things are gonna start looking up. And I feel like somebody's got some money coming in too. We got the chariot card here. So far we've got it doesn't really matter, the signs don't matter, you got you guys, but I'm just gonna mention them anyways, because we have the star card here, that's Aquarius. We've got the King of Pentacles, that's Earth, so that's Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus got the world here. The world for me, I feel like that's Capricorn, but I also feel like that's Ophiuchus. And the chariot, that's Cancer energy. Okay, we've got the Queen of Cups as well, so whoever you are, you are highly empathic, but we've already got the Empathy card here. Um, so, um, what is what have you liberated yourself from? Okay, so somebody's not been feeling really well. It's just because somebody's been doing too much. Okay. What's the spirit, or what's the message, please? you are you're a visionary trust your intuition is the message that I'm receiving because you are receiving divine guidance to to do whatever it is that you want to do today I don't know what that is or but you're receiving divine guidance hmm. freedom there's something about this freedom card though it's like you have you're free to choose is what I'm hearing you're free to choose. Maybe you're free to choose who you 
are around and who you hang out with. I feel like maybe somebody's been realizing that there are certain people who have been making them sick and just emotionally drained. I'm hearing sea sediment jasper. Maybe sea sediment jasper would be good for some of you to um, to wear. That's uh, for me. I love sea sediment jasper. I might actually put that on this morning, but um, it's uh, it helps just to remain uh, emotionally objective and, and very emotionally grounded. And so for for me, I think that it's really good for empaths. Um, what is another one? Man, now I can't remember. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, okay, I hear, okay, with the sun card here and with the ten of um, swords, I'm hearing, like, don't you steal my sunshine. Like, don't let anybody steal your sunshine, okay? If somebody has something negative to say, just walk away. Just walk away. Pretend like you didn't hear them. I do that sometimes. <laughs> no offense to anyone I've ever done that to, okay? I feel like whoever you are, you are kind of in the spotlight. You might not even know that you're in the spotlight. You might even be the topic of a lot of discussion. I feel like there's nothing bad that anybody really can say about you, though. So just remember that, you know? Um, I don't know who this is for, but... Um, I feel like whoever you are, you are manifesting at a rapid rate, so just keep your frequency very positive. We've got, um, I don't know why I was just going to say Scorpio, I, that's not the energy at all that I'm, that I have here, but I have a Taurus here, so, um, with the Hierophant, what's the Hierophant? The Hierophant can be, like, orthodox thinking, it could also be, um... You know, somebody who is uh, divinely guided, okay? Like we're talking here, all right? That's a masculine energy who's divinely guided. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be masculine energy, though, because we've got we've got a lot of... We've got a nice balance of masculine and feminine energy here on the table, or on the bed, rather. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Hmm. Somebody's coming out of this, like, lack mentality. They're coming out of a lack mentality because they, they, somebody might have, okay, so somebody's coming out of a lack mentality. Have you ever just felt so tired that you, you don't know yourself? I have, okay, where it's like, you're just, like, your body just, you just have to, like, rest, or you just have to, you just have to take care of yourself. I feel like somebody hit a wall there. I've got Sagittarius energy here too, the Temperance card. And it's like now somebody's going to start setting some better boundaries and like learning how to protect their energy better. I would say that, that, that that's a form of liberation for sure. Little spirit answers to the highest white light. Is there anything else? Oh my goodness. Somebody's trying to fuck around with somebody at work. Okay, somebody might be trying... Okay, I don't know. This might be very specific for somebody, but somebody's trying to fuck around with somebody at work. That's the message that I'm receiving here, and it's like with the King of Swords... The King of Swords in the reverse position... The King of Swords in the reverse position is somebody who is just cold as fuck, okay? And it does not necessarily have to be, like, a bad thing. Like, being cold... I just take what resonates, you guys. Use discernment, okay? But, like, when it comes to protecting your energy, I feel like the King of Swords in the reverse position is not necessarily a bad thing. The King of Swords upright is, like, somebody who... I think is very intellectual, somebody who will set boundaries, and I think it's somebody who will, is also kind of like a teacher, okay? But like, in the reverse position, this is just like, I'm seeing somebody at work trying to create some sort of chaos. Can you guys see the cards? Trying to create some sort of chaos at work, okay? The the Eight of Pentacles also, for me, is, um, is a card of... Um, it's like you're starting something new. So, whatever. Anyways, I digress. Okay. Um, but it's like, just walk away. Just walk away. You don't have to look at them. You don't have to whatever. I don't know who this is. This could be somebody... Um, I feel like this is work-related. Okay? It could be anything, though. But we'll just say... 
that that's what it is because of the eight of pentacles here without spirit answers to my toilet why is because you were born to shine okay and you need to shine with the star card here and stay grounded in that like just I don't, it's not like, be, I'm hearing head up, chest out, it's a Kendrick Lamar song, I don't even know the name of the song right now, I can't even think of it, but it's like, yeah, just keep your head up and your chest out, like, who gives a fuck, you know? I feel like there are some people who are maybe surrounding you, or have surrounded you in the past, or, or maybe people who you have dealt with in the past, who you may be dealing with in the future, who just are just... I don't know how else to say it, but just like emotionally, like I'm hearing emotionally dragging drag. Maybe they drag you down with all of their emotional, whatever. I don't know. It's it, like, what the fuck does anybody really have to, well, I mean, there are some things that we can all complain about, but it's like, we're all going through things. Catharsis is important. I don't judge, but like, you know, if you are not, if you feel like, and if you don't want to be cold, like the King of Swords in the reverse position, something else that you can also do is you can just say, Hey, look, you know, I just don't really feel like I have the mental capacity to today to deal with this, or I'm just not really emotionally, like, I'm not really, I don't have the emotional capacity at this moment. It could also be somebody's parent. Um, I, I do not have the emotional capacity to deal with this right now. Um, you know, sorry, bye. <laughs> I mean, like, that's what I would do. Okay. Like, I mean, or I would just, honestly, I have just walked away from people while they're talking mid-sentence because that's the kind of person that I am sometimes most of the time but um okay let's pull another oracle card and see what's going on so just you know self-care it's important to protect your energy okay it's like it's like training a like a feral cat or training any cat to like if they if they bite you I don't know if you've ever heard this but if they ever like bite you and um, they tell you they say to just like walk away and ignore the cat because the cat wants attention and so you just you just walk away and they won't bite you again I had to do that with one of my kitty cats Gilligan. You know, like he rubs on, you rub his belly or something and he bites you, so I just walk away. And he stopped doing it because he wouldn't get belly rubs from me anymore, okay? Growth. Uh, seek out a mentor or a guide. Um, maybe, maybe not, but uh, it also says uh, take baby steps at your, or take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Maybe you need to learn from me. Just walk away. <laughs> What else, spirit ancestors of the highest white light? Hello. Thank you. Action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take in take inspired action towards your dream. Move forward with confidence. Move forward with confidence. Confidence is key in everything. Imagination. Envision a new reality. Give yourself permission to dream. Believe in unlimited possibilities. I just really feel like this reading is about boundaries, though. I feel like as at, when we're bogged down, though, it's really difficult for us to envision a new reality. I do feel like somebody has like a, um, okay, goodbye to the old and hello to the new. You finished one part of your life and now, and now a new and even better part is beginning. Yay. All right. I feel like this is the reading. I hope that you guys are doing really, really amazing. I'm sending you guys so much love. I'm going to make my bed. I'm going to go have some tea. Make sure you guys are drinking lots of water too. I'm hearing that. And I'm sending you guys so much love. Look at what is at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, you guys. Sorry. I got fucking cat hair. Walk away. I don't know who needs to hear this, but somebody just needs to walk away from a situation. Just ignore the bullshit. Okay. We've been through enough. All right. There was a full moon, a super moon. Okay. You've been through enough. All right. Give yourself a break. Okay. I'm sending you guys so much love. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe until next time.